hello my lovely people welcome again to another repair tutorial today i received this hp laptop it has a blank screen problem and the keyboard coupler blinks once every three seconds before we continue we have to find out the meaning of the coupler blinking code So let's go to HP website for the error blinking code. As you can see, one blink means CPU is not functional. This simply means that the CPU core requirements have not been met. So we need to disassemble this laptop and check the CPU requirements.
now the motherboard is out so let's do some testing first of all let's do a continuity test for all the coils on the motherboard to check if there's any form of shorting there are about 12 coils on this motherboard now switch your multimeter to continuity mode and put one of your meter leads probe to the ground or any of the screw holes as indicated here The purpose of this continuity or home testing is to ensure that there is no shorting on this motherboard. I will make a complete video tutorial of all steps to test a laptop motherboard. But for today, let's focus on fixing this motherboard with the shortest possible time. So from this continuity test measurement I got from this motherboard coils means that there is no shorting on this motherboard. Now let's connect the laptop charger and test for voltages. Switch the multimeter to DC voltage. So first let's test the standby voltage section to see if 5 volts and 3.3 volts are present on the two coils. So as you can see, 3.3 volts and 5 volts are present on the two coils. Now let's press the power button and test the other section voltages of this motherboard. RAM core voltage is not present. Graphics coil 1 and 2 voltages are also not present. CPU central processing unit calls 1 and 2 voltages are also not present. Before I proceed, this is an AMD motherboard so it uses the FCH Fusion Controller Hub as its out bridge. There is 1.3 volts present on FCH call 1 and 1.135 volts on call 2. This gives me a clue. Now let me check the RTC real-time clock section of this motherboard. Before we can proceed, we need to download the motherboard schematics diagram. We just need to use this motherboard code and Google to download it for free. This is the schematics diagram of this motherboard. Now let's quickly locate the RTC section to diagnose the problem. This is the RTC battery connector or Siemens battery connector, so we start from there. Now this is the RTC connector or Siemens battery connector. Let's check the battery voltage of 3 volts here. Yes, the 3 volts is present. Now let's go further. Let's copy RTC BAT and find it. Now we can see RTC BAT is connected to a resistor RH14 through a 3 leg diode D1 and another resistor RH17. Now let's test if the voltage of 3 volts is passing through RH14 to RH17. This voltage is supposed to go into the FCH to activate the chip for further activation of other sections of the motherboard.
Let's check voltages. 3.2 volts here, fine. 3.2 volts at the other end, that's fine. 2.9 volts here, fine. 0 volts here means there is a problem with this resistor. This side is supposed to be either 3 volts or 2.9 volts. This means this resistor is open or faulty and we need to replace it. I have changed the resistor component from a scrap board. This is the faulty or broken one. Now let's turn the motherboard on and see if it works. Let's check if those core voltages are now present. Yes, the round voltage is on. The graphic core's voltages are also present. The CPU voltages are also present. The FCH voltages are also present. Now let's connect a keyboard to test if the display is okay. You can see the keyboard light is on. It means the display is okay now. Now let's reassemble everything and test if it's okay. Yes, everything is okay. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video.